Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is The Next Evolution of Mankind. What is the next evolution of mankind? I get this visual image of us going from dragging our knuckles along the ground to walking upright with a spear in our hands. And then what's after that? <laughs> Oh, you know, we're in a spacesuit and we're hovering along on a little hovercraft. What is the next evolution of mankind? When I look at it from the perspective of consciousness, as the greater consciousness, as the creator of this reality, this planet is my playground, it is my experiment, I am creating in physical reality, I am creating physical forms to inhabit and to move around. Mind you, I have created everything down to the smallest detail. Therefore, as consciousness, I am in every blade of grass. I am in every creature, great and small. I am in every molecule that makes up oxygen and water and earth and everything in between. And I have this fun creation of human bodies wandering around on the planet. My prototypes were dinosaurs and they were just really awkward, you know, so I had to start over. Human bodies have been kind of fun to walk around and, and the sensations that they experience and the interactions and the emotional capacity has been a lot of fun. It's also fun creating chimpanzees and gorillas and dolphins and whales. But since I'm currently communicating to you in a physical body and you're currently listening to me as a physical body, we'll stick with bodies. Suddenly I have this image of people's cats and dogs listening to this video. <laughs> the next evolution for mankind. We started off feeling disconnected from ourselves as consciousness. And so consciousness felt like something very high up and very out there. And we're wandering around with our knuckles dragging on the ground and our primary concern throughout the day is survival. Hunting, gathering, eating, shelter, protecting ourselves from rabid woolly mammoths. Things like that. And as we have evolved from the body personality perspective, as we have evolved, our experience of consciousness has come closer and closer. Next big shift of evolution, we've personified consciousness as something outside of ourselves and originally it was something very far away and we projected our extreme emotions as angry, vengeful, jealous, going to cut our heads off, throw plagues at us. It was the thing that was happening to us, as opposed to us creating a reality as consciousness. Very disempowered state. The next step of that was experiencing it closer. It was more accessible and I'm speaking from perspective as body personality, it was more accessible and therefore something you could directly communicate to like a parent. You could feel the parental love that it had for us. If you turn that around as consciousness, you can experience the parental love that you have for the forms that you've created. You can experience parental love for yourself as you go throughout your day and all the foibles you have created throughout your lifetime. Very parental love for the creation of the body personality sitting listening to this. We are collectively going through yet another shift and we've talked about this evolution seems to take time because in bodies and personalities we're in a linear existence and we experience things as taking time and we experience evolutions as happening over time. 
Consciousness is all happening instantaneously. <laughs> the next step of evolution is coming more into form. Our bodies have shifted and adjusted to experiencing a higher vibratory level embodying it. Therefore, we are experiencing more consciousness. Consciousness is enjoying being more embodied in form. How this shows up for you is increased inner wisdom, a greater sense of the bigger picture, a sense of your purpose for being here, a greater desire to navigate your life with that purpose, a falling away of old ego patterns, family patterns, behavior patterns, identity patterns. All of those things are falling away. As you experience consciousness in form, there is a natural taking responsibility for your creations. And it is a responding to and taking ownership of your creations in a different way that has been done before. The misunderstanding about this when you start viewing this through the lens of your body personality is that we are responsible, we're at fault for terrible things that happened to us in our childhood or the planet falling apart. We are responsible, it is our fault, we have to do something. And that is a very limited body personality perspective. As consciousness, I create my reality. I create what is going on in the storyline. I respond to what's going in the storyline. I'm responsible as the creator of my reality, as loving my creations, loving my storyline, enjoying whatever I put into the storyline and it's all a process of creating it and letting it go and creating it and letting it go, creating it anew, creating it differently. And it is a wonderful, joyous experience of creation. Now consciousness also created the planet and the cycles of growth and change on the planet. The planet itself has its own inhale and exhale and evolutionary cycles and the planet itself is experiencing all the little human bodies and the creations of the human bodies and the fossil fuels and the plastics and all of that is part of the storyline. And even as it may seem black and white and life and death, oh, we're contributing to the destruction of the planet. If you're seeing anything from that perspective, that's your body's interpretation of what's going on. Body isn't going to make it out of this lifetime alive. Body feels things very seriously. Is this going to kill me? I'm going to die. Even if it's a positive response, I'm going to die. Consciousness is infinitely creative and the solution arises, is arising, will arise for whatever is showing up on a planetary level, on an individual level. And it's a very neutral response to things as well. As consciousness, there isn't a right or a wrong to what's happening in the storyline. It's just all about creating. That doesn't mean consciousness creates destructively. That doesn't mean consciousness creates maliciously. That doesn't mean consciousness creates competitively. Any of those vibrations are still body, personality, and survival. Consciousness creates magnificently. Consciousness creates enjoyably. Consciousness creates with a sense of fun and play. And what about this? 
our next evolutionary step as consciousness is experiencing ourselves as consciousness in the form navigating our lives as consciousness through our physical bodies and our personalities and our storyline and viewing the world from a new different expanded perspective how would your life change how would your story of your life change if you view it as consciousness view it as you creating your reality nothing is happening to you you are not a victim of circumstance you're not a victim of your past there is nothing to fear crazy people are not running the country everything that unfolds in your life is you creating it from your greater awareness so notice this week the narration that goes on in your head and stop and shift it if you're driving around and making up stories about how terrible life is and being on Oprah or Ellen complaining about how terrible life is shift it maybe you want to tell the story differently maybe you want to tell the script writers and you are the script writer that you want to be living in a romantic comedy instead of a tragedy you will notice as you do this it totally transforms how you feel how you are feeling about your life how you are being in your life and it also changes the choices you make the direction that you take you respond differently and that is what responsibility is responding rather than reacting if you like these videos you can subscribe to them on YouTube you can also sign up below to get them in your inbox if you want to know more my website is joan-newcomb.com I have a weekly radio show I also have a weekly newsletter and blog that I put out you can sign up on my website for the newsletter and also to get a free quiz on discovering what your purpose is in life and what your passion is for a living you can also find out about my meetups I do meetups in the Puget Sound area in Seattle Tacoma Bellevue and Olympia I have monthly webinars for people who can't make the meetups in person I also have 12 weeks to transformation and that is a private mentorship program by application only so email me at joan at joannewcomb.com if you'd like to know more about that and stay tuned for another mystic minute in a couple of days